In today's episode, we're in Spain to explore an abandoned power plant that shut down over a decade ago. The Escucha power station first came online in 1970 and was fed by the region's numerous coal mines. However, as the country shifted towards cleaner methods of generation, nearly all industrial activity in the area ceased and the towering plant was left in the dust. Now, join us as we venture inside to see what's left. Helix Sleep, the sponsor of this portion of today's video, helps you get a well-rested night with their premium mattresses that are customized to fit your needs. Helix Sleep makes extremely comfortable, fiberglass-free mattresses that are delivered right to your door with free shipping in the USA. Everyone sleeps different, and with Helix's quiz, you are matched with the mattress that best fits you. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including their award-winning Lux and Ultra Premium Elite collections, the Plus, designed for tall sleepers, and the Kids mattresses. They have something for everyone, and if you sleep with a partner, you can take the quiz together. Based on my results, Helix matched me with the Midnight. I'm a side sleeper and prefer a medium feel, something that's soft but still supportive. They also offer an additional Glaciotex cooling cover, which I opted for. It helps maintain the temperature of the mattress throughout the night. Over the past year, I've had better and more comfortable sleep than I ever had before, and it's just as comfortable as day one. The mattress is shipped in a box and is impressively compact. I was able to get the mattress into my apartment and set up on my own, and with only a few minutes, it was fully expanded and ready for a solid nap. To make sure you love it, Helix Sleep offers a 100 night sleep trial with a 10 year warranty with financing and flexible payment plans. Upgrade your mattress with Helix and get 20% off, plus two free pillows. Go to helixsleep.com slash proper people, or click the link in the description below. start the journey. <laughs> My shoes have no grip. No, I literally am sliding off it. Like it's going like this. squeeze it
is this? It's a little loud. With the, with the wind, you can't hear it. That thing made it a lot easier. Yeah. Go down. He's literally going to go directly over security's head. Yeah. Cameras up. So that thing on top of the turbine hull is a cooling tower that they built directly on the roof. It's pretty unique. And that down there is the turbine hull. That's where the goods will be. The coal conveyor is pretty steep way steeper than it looks. Pretty big boiler house. Keep the door closed. It's pretty cool out here. They're all slowly spinning in the wind. It's a very interesting cooling system. We made it to the turbine hall. Here, put that back behind you. Just in case someone comes in here. Oh, there's birds in here.
It's a massive unit. Siemens. First Siemens generator in the turbine Pokédex. Actually, no, we did see one in Germany. It's just that fan going absolutely crazy in the wind. Normally I don't like when the colors are just rainbow like this, but they all feel like they're part of the same sort of pastel, earth tony palette. So I actually think it looks pretty good here. This is a pretty exposed turbine. There's no casing on it really, just the insulation. I feel like that back wall needs something on it, like a big clock or something. It's very plain. These gauges are very clean. Not even a bit of dust on them. That's gotta be the control room over there. Yeah. I bet you they were going to double the size of this plant and that's why there's like a false wall there and the control room's way over there because that would have been the middle. Yeah. Ooh, looks pretty nice in there. Very 70s. It's smelly. Yeah. wall rattles. Let this one close a little softly. Wow. Very European. Yeah. <laughs> no control rooms like this in the US. There's a phone right here. A picture of some workers here. It's like only a couple hundred pixels tall, though. Why do people even send files like this to print? <laughs> Pixelated. Yeah. Calendar from December 2013. Not that long ago, but nine years. It's almost, yeah, it's pretty long ago. Usually these places get torn down after a couple years of shutting down, so. Like the glass is especially clean for nine years. Not much dust. If they built the other unit, they would have stuck the other panel right here. Oh, yeah, where it's yeah. They already have the material there. They just need to cut it out. What's running? What's running? Found it. Is it moving? It's not a gauge. It is a message machine, I think. No. It's That's on. not what's making the noise. It's coming from that way. It is. To your left. So there's power on in here. It's behind this. Yeah, it's something in the panel. There's like some phantom power still flowing through it. I mean, that just plugged in, it looks like. Should I see there's a dial tone? No. Okay. I was afraid to pick up that phone in case it would like auto dial something. Oh, really? <laughs> the light switches in control rooms are never obvious for some reason. There's a door back here, coming back here. Oh yeah. That's to go behind the panel that never existed. It's just provisional space. This is where they would have put more control boards. Here's breakers, they're all on for that. Here they are. Actually? Light switches, yeah. They're just normal switches, not breakers. 
Anything on? No. I don't know. I guess there is no actual power. Yeah. Just Let's stand. go behind the other panel and see if we can figure out what's on. Okay. Are you back here? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's literally just something running in here. One of these things. Can't tell which one it is. December 31st, 2012. Definitive disconnection. Probably means like final disconnection. Central Termica Scucha. He was probably the last manager on shift. Yeah. Now this light switch has power going to it. Oh yeah, that does. You want to push it? Not really. Do it. All I'll right. push it if you don't. <laughs> Just the lights. Yeah. But that was a cool <laughs> noise. When I heard that noise, I was hoping it wasn't going to be like something more serious. Just making all the ambiance of fluorescence. Well, look what's in here. Just like every power plant ever, it's a global trend. But if we tried a bit, we could get the lights on in the control room, but not right now. Look at this. Wow. What does it say? Skeleton key. What's the... Interesting key here. It's plastic. Is it? Okay, yeah, never mind then. That was not that cool. <laughs> that one got my attention. But these are like, these are weird. Yeah. It's got to be firefighting stuff because there's a hose and. Oh, yeah, it is firefighting, firefighting stuff. It's like in a display case with the glass. It's cool. You know where it is then, yeah. Let's see where these stairs go. They look pretty nice. This one's hanging off the ceiling. This is dark. This is a control room subfloor. This is below the mainframe. Lots of circuits. Oh, this is the main electrical room. They're clearly not on because they're quiet, but it says 400 volts. Not gonna mess around in here. These slanted columns are pretty nice. <laughs> There's some worker art on the wall over here. It's a here here. A European here here. 
I don't know it's what to call it, but... A scoocha, a key, and a scoocha. <laughs> yeah. Yep, insulated. Sound dampened. Let's see what's in the schnoz. An exciter. It's just like opening the hood of your car. This bottom bit opens too. I don't think we need to do that. It's gonna be more work to put back together. All the way inside. There's another whole office building right out there. Wow. Oh, another building. That building looks really clean in there. Let's see if we can see security. That says offices right there. Should be able to see security from here. So you said there were offices connected as well? Uh, I think that's what they might be in right now. Because that building says offices. I know, but this is a lot of building here. That's true. Electrical workshop. This might all be maintenance offices, and the building outside is like the administrative. Yeah. There's more skeleton keys in here. A lot more. Whole key rings of skeleton keys. This office is locked, but we can see through the window. Of course. Oh, but this is the door, I think, to see on top of the turbine hall. Yeah, it is. Green. Here's the front door. Anything sus? Just one light. Yeah, it's open here. It's not even a lab. It's like water treatment. Oh, okay. Pretty cool looking one. Yeah, symmetrical. For the most part. Where is the condenser? It's like really buried. Unless this is it? It might be part of it, it's right below it. That's the weirdest looking condenser I've ever seen. Right? Yeah, the yeah, that would be it. Yeah, that's it. Super weird looking.
town of Escucha expressed their desire to transform the plant into a museum of energy, the scale of the building and the state of the region's economy made this financially untenable. A plan for total demolition of the plant has been approved and is expected to be underway shortly.